Be sure to check out FIFACoinsOnline.com for the best deals on FIFA coins from a place you know that you can trust. What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to a solid squad builder for the Hexagon tournament that is currently going on. That tournament requires that you have six different leagues in your team, in your squad, and I'm going to quickly walk through what the leagues are in this one and then I'll talk about each individual player. So we've got the Barclays Premier League with Czech and then all the players down the left side. Then we've got Liga do Brazil with Dede of Vasco da Gama. Then we've got a right back Danilo of Liga Portuguesa for FC Porto. Then we have Paulinho who again is Liga do Brazil but that's fine. Uh, then we have um, Lucas, Lucas Moura, I almost forgot his name for that, uh, then, and he is Ligue 1. Then we've got AC Milan, Serie A, the untransferred Pato, and right wing, we have Zenit St. Petersburg, Russian League. So that is six leagues in the starting lineup. One, two, three, four, five, six, and there we go. So that is that. So let's walk through each individual player. In goal, we have Petr Cech, 15,250 coins. Very, very good goalie. One of the better ones on the game. He's absolutely massive, but also good. got really good diving and reflexes, so he can get right into the top corners to save those shots for you. Left back, we have Gael Clichy, one of the better left backs in the Prem. Very, very quick with 89 pace. Also pretty solid defensively and not too bad going forward as well. Four-star weak foot and three-star skills isn't bad at all for a left back. First centre back is one of the most overpowered players in the game. Now, uh, I know I'm not reinventing the wheel by putting loads of Brazilian players in these squads, but it is the best way to do it if you want to win it. I'm not trying to be ridiculously creative. I just wanted a squad that would win. And I went for David Luiz, who has 78 pace, blah, blah, blah. Everyone knows how incredibly tankish and amazing he is. Now, the prices of each player is slightly higher because they were all bought in a 4 3 3 formation, so bear that in mind. But nonetheless, we go on to the second centre back, and that is Dede. 81 pace, 81 defence, 82 to head in very very tankish center back again right back we have Danilo I originally went for um Mariano but I had to switch him out because I was putting Lucas in the middle and he's got uh 86 pace 76 defense that's about all you need to know really quick fast solid right back over in the first centre mid position, we have Ramirez, one of the best defensive central mids in the game. 88 pace, 76 defence, uh, 82 dribbling, high work rate of attacking and defence, so he's very, very good at getting all the way around the pitch. And he costs just 7,800 in the right formation. Over to the second centre mid, and that is Lucas Mora. So he cost me 17,750, but that was to get him already in centre mid and already in 4 3 3. So he's the more attacking of the three uh, centre mids. He's got very, very good pace, brilliant dribbling, very good shot, and great passing, and four star skill moves as well. Onto the third centre mid and Paulinho. He's a bit of a hidden gem. I absolutely love him. He's got an inform that is ridiculously expensive, so I've never managed to use him, but I manage I, I assume even that he's incredible because this card is brilliant. A very well-rounded, solid centre mid with 80 pace, 78 dribbling, 77 defence, and some other really good all-round stats as well. Up onto the left wing, we have Eden Hazard, absolute beast of a player, four-star skills, 90 pace, 90 dribbling, 83 passing, and some pretty good shots with 78 shooting. Two costs 64,000 coins, so he's more on the expensive side, but definitely, definitely worth it. The central striker and the main guy in all of this is Alexandra Pato. 89 pace, 83 dribbling, 78 shot, and also relatively good heading with 77. Now, he's got four star weak foot and four star skill moves, which means he can shoot on either foot and you won't have an issue. He's also just general, all round, very, very good player. Now, you have to get the untransferred version, the 80 Milan one, for him to fit into the squad and get the. Uh, the tournament requirements. So onto the final player, and that is Hulk. He was absolutely incredible for me. I'd used him before and wasn't too impressed. This time, he was amazing. 90 pace, 85 shot, ridiculously powerful guy, very, very strong. Four-star skills, left-footed, which means he can cut in, and he scored so many goals for cutting in for me. Absolutely amazing. So we're going to go on to some clips now, and I'll talk a bit more about them there. So as I said, this team is very, very good. It's very, very quick in every position. There is no lacks of pace at all. There's nowhere you where you'll think, ah, oh, I wish I had someone quicker there. It is so, so fast, and every position is ridiculously solid. Pato is a fantastic striker. Hulk's amazing out wide, as is Eden Hazard. Uh, Ramirez is amazing, very, very good at holding everything up. Lucas is incredible. Paulinho is amazing. The two centre-backs are brilliant and the full-backs are brilliant. Every position that's covered is an absolutely fantastic job of it and they will always, always do what you want them to do. It's very rare where you'll have any issues with them. So uh, that is one thing you do not have to worry about. They will always, uh, always perform when you need them to. It's a very, very good team for that. Now, it isn't ridiculously cheap, but at the same time, it's not crazy expensive. 
alternative. Now, there is a few cheap alternatives you could do. You could also miss out on a little bit of chemistry here and there with players like Mora and stuff like that if you were to uh, buy a cheaper version. Now, another way you could do this if you couldn't afford uh, Eden Hazard, you could get Rabinho on the left wing because that would cover, uh, would work completely fine. Um, and there's a few other little changes you could do, like a different Brazilian centre mid and stuff like that, because there's so much Brazilian, it makes it quite easy to chop and change if there's any particular players that you don't like or you can't afford or anything like that. So, all in all, I think if you take uh, Eden Hazard out of the team, I'm pretty sure you'd be able to get it for under 50k, especially if you were to remove Lucas Moura out, easily get it under 50k. So, uh, it's not an expensive team at all uh, in the grand scheme of things. If you're not ridiculously rich, then I suppose this isn't the team for you. But if you have like 200k or whatever then this team will serve you absolutely fantastically and will definitely help you to win the hexagon cup with a lot of ease so uh, i've decided to cut a few clips out of the end of this episode guys because i didn't want to be rambling on for too long so we've got one or two left now but what i do want to say is thank you as always for watching thank you for the support that i assume you will show on this if we could get to 350 likes that'd be absolutely incredible thanks again for watching guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you next time bye